Are you concerned about child speech delay? If so, then this video is for you. I'm Luke, I'm an officer called chiropractor at Top Chiropractic London, and today we're going to be talking about child speech delay, what it is, and where upper cervical fits in the picture. Okay, so child speech delay is characterized by a child having difficulty understanding or using spoken language that is unusual for the child at that age. Your typical two-year-old can say about 50 words and speak two or three word sentences. By the age of three, this vocabulary then increases to a thousand words and they're speaking three or four word sentences. If a toddler hasn't met those milestones, then it's possible that they have speech delay. Developmental milestones, however, help us just help us gauge a child's progress and they're just general guidelines. Children do develop at their own rate. As we all know, children are all unique and they do things at their own pace and by their own time. If your child has speech delay, it doesn't always mean that something is wrong. You might simply just have a late bloomer on your hands and then in a few months, they could be completely chatting your ear off and you, know, you wish things were back the way they were. So it's not always an issue, but speech delay can be due to underlying issues, whether that's hearing loss or a neurological developmental disorder. If speech delay does persist, there are a number of avenues that you can go down, whether that's speech and language therapy or physical occupational therapy, but there's also upper cervical chiropractic. So we're going to discuss where upper cervical chiropractic fits into it. What we find in a big majority of our clients is that they've had some kind of birthing trauma or stressful birthing event, whether that be a breach delivery or a planned or emergency C-section or the use of forceps or um, vacuum. These processes can place a lot of stress on a child's upper cervical spine and this can go unchecked as rightfully so, the docs at the time are focusing and checking for any life-threatening conditions or problems that may arise for the safety of the mum and, and the child. Sometimes it's if, this, if you've had a traumatic or stressful birth, it's a good idea to get your child's spine and nervous system checked nice and early just so we can see if there are any problems there. So birthing trauma and stressful birth and a stressful birth isn't always present in people with speech delay but we tend to find that it often is and that the stressful birth or the birthing trauma have had an effect on the child's brainstem so at the top of the spine there's two bones called the c1 and the c2 these are very movable and especially when you're stuck in that birthing canal and with all the compression they can be very susceptible to damage when this happens, they can't properly protect the brainstem, which just resides above, and the spinal cord. Or sometimes they can misalign and start to invaginate on where the brainstem and spinal cord are. So in these cases, it's sometimes helpful to get things checked and to see if there is an underlying cause. By allowing an upper cervical chiropractor to look for any signs of nervous system dysfunction and misalignment, we can check to see if your child's speech delay is being caused or contributed to by another cervical misalignment. So the brainstem houses cranial nerves. These cranial nerves supply your child's ears, nose, throat, head, neck, face. They're really important. When the brainstem is being interfered with or impacted upon, these cranial nerves can't function as they should. That means that the nerves going to the ears might not be working properly stopping your child from being able to hear and understand words properly, or maybe the child, the nerves going to the larynx aren't working properly, which is making it difficult for the child to produce noises and produce words. Furthermore, one we find very commonly is that there's dysfunction around the cranial nerves that supply the tongue, and that makes it very difficult for the child to produce and form words. So the cranial nerves and speech delay are connected, and what brings them together it can be the upper cervical spine. So if you feel like your child potentially has child speech delay, they had a stressful birth and you think something may be going on in the upper cervical spine, you've seen other professionals and you haven't got any answers yet, then book in a call with us and we can see how 
how we can help you and give you our best recommendations. We do work with a lot of children with speech and developmental delay and we see great results with them, often in combination with other therapies like speech and language therapy and physical therapy, we see, begin to see some really great results with children. So again, if you have any questions, get in contact with us and we'll go through your child's case and we'll see what we can do. Okay, thank you.